you with her and the two poor and the blue bears attacked? Bang, bang. Give you for this. He ain't welcome here, witch. Greetings, impressive tavern. Tavern? This ain't no tavern. Mm -hmm. So what do folk do in the House of Warriors? Fight? At times, one will take the other and give them a good slap in, eh? About what folk do? <sighs> ah, ye Continentals don't understand a thing. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight. Can you swing an axe? Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. Why are you even interested? Jinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a Jinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. Are you sure this mage actually had a Jinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Know where to look? For the mage and the djinn? The locals say they last saw Amos' ship off the coast of Hindisfjall, just before a once in an eon storm broke. Dad will find them then. Mage is probably fish food, 
and the Jinn escaped. Not necessarily. But even if it is so, I'll not give up without seeing some evidence. Will you help me? I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. Someone helped Brian into the next life. He was breaking black clad necks yesterday, and suddenly... See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Mm. Yes, and yes, yes. What do you want from me? Yes, 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 yes. Come. The landing's not lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Come. Yes, 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 come. Yes, yes. No Nordling will ever understand the Isles. This is Skellige! The ship carrying the Jinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. I'm not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before, do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. Not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't rightly like see why I shouldn't laugh. They're amusing. There's something here on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad, I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? Wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck and a cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Where to now? Wherever the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house, and a palace, and a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to a talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course.
Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Look around, but be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. Clan emblem indicates a demon man, so he was from Pharaoh. Yen, doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the Golden Dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. Let's see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Illivaid. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Illivade. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three! Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. 
You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact, I want to know now. <sighs> How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it. This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. What if I don't want to know? I'm afraid you no longer have a choice. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Interesting. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Yen, I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like take us away anywhere to a mountaintop even and the jinn granted the wish literally they had a hard landing amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall the bookcase did the rest always knew too much studying could kill you if he died while being teleported seal might still be on him behold bravo come to the deck i've an idea Come with me. I've an idea. Come with me. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rifkaishta em gaya. Kaishta et disclare, gevered me castle.
Your master died before uttering his last wish. I cannot capture you. We can struggle like this for eternity or I can release you. If you do one thing for me. <sighs> do you see the spell that binds us? <sighs> Only a djinn can remove another djinn's spell. Remove this one and you'll be free. Storm's over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm... I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jen might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You'd do well to remember that. Otherwise, he might feel compelled to remind you. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Siri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, 
what happened back there. It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Geralt? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Djinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eridan believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. I still can't get something out of my mind. What? Found something that might belong to you. That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. Got summoned by Radovid. He wants me to find Philippa. What a king. Not only cruel, but naive as well. Did he truly believe you'd help him? I took the job. Why? Gotta say, I'm curious what happened to her. And I didn't want any Redanians getting in my way while I tried to find out. Look, found this in Philippa's hideout. A Megascope crystal? Damn, it's cracked. But it could still work.
And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Valista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's mad. You will need advanced power. You'll put yourself in great danger. Damn it. That's it. I can't recover any more. I hear right. They mentioned the Lodge? Yes. And later, Philippa said something about vision regeneration. Margarita mentioned Ida and Francesca, then Kira and Fringilla. I've little doubt Philippa means to revive the Lodge of Sorceresses. They weren't sure about Triss. Excluded you right away. I'd never agree to rejoin. Philippa believes only the Lodge can look after the Mage's interests effectively. I disagree, and prefer to act alone. Besides, the moment's inopportune. Reviving the Lodge would enrage both Radovid and the Emperor. They're at a critical stage of their duel for influence, and neither would welcome a new player. Think Philippa pulled it off? Restored her eyesight? It would be reckless, but not impossible. They seemed to say she was planning to implant tissue grown on precious stones. Till now, only Vilgefortz has ever managed. If she succeeded, well, I suppose congratulations would be in order. Hmm. Wonder what I should do with the crystal. It cannot fall into Radovid's hands, not under any circumstances. You'd better leave it with me. Right. It'll be safer with you. Thank you. 